My name is Libby Todd, and I'm a small animal practitioner from Birmingham, Alabama. I graduated from Mississippi State University College of Veterinary Medicine in 1999, and I have had a wonderful career as a small animal practitioner. My involvement with organized veterinary medicine began during my pre-veterinary years. I was involved with the pre-vet club at Mississippi State and served as a secretary treasurer and also vice president within that group and learned a great deal in those positions and I had some very good friends that, that pushed me, told me that I should run for a national office. So I did campaign and, and was elected national secretary of the American Pre-Veterinary Medical Association. And I remember during my campaign speech, I told the students at, at that meeting that I believed organized veterinary medicine would unite students from across the country that had common goals and common interests. And I believe that that, that is very true. It was true then and, it, and it's true now. Following my, my pre-veterinary career, I started in the veterinary school at MSU. I was very interested in, in seeking other leadership positions and I became involved with the Mississippi State Chapter of the Student American Veterinary Medical Association, or SAVMA. I was involved with two different leadership positions at, at Mississippi State, and I worked as a junior delegate and a senior delegate, and that was a delegate to the student AVMA. At the end of, of that service, I decided I would again like to run for a national office and campaigned and, and was elected national secretary of the student AVMA. And I think at that point in time, I realized that my involvement, my interest in organized veterinary medicine, it was not just an interest and not just a hobby. It truly became a passion. And I discovered that I was passionate about student leadership, about servant leadership. I wanted to, to help people. I wanted to make organized veterinary medicine a better place. And so I have continued that with my future endeavors. During my, my senior year of veterinary school, my friends nicknamed me Secretary of the World which actually was, I think, pretty fitting considering all the, the secretarial positions that I had held. But I also received a, a senior award that makes me laugh a little bit now. The award was titled, Most Likely to Become President of the AVMA. I think my externship to the AVMA was just a, a part of that continued interest. And after I graduated from veterinary school, I was still interested in, in pursuing more in the way of leadership and more involvement in organized veterinary medicine. So I became a member of both the American Veterinary Medical Association, the Alabama Veterinary Medical Association because I was, was practicing in Alabama, and then I also joined my local association, the Jefferson County Veterinary Medical Association. And I spent time just being a member in those groups and learning about the way those organizations worked, how they provided services to their members. The more I learned, the more I loved it, and I wanted more. And so I decided to run for an office in our Jefferson County Veterinary Medical Association. And I worked my way through the offices, starting as a, a second vice president and then working up to president. And I was very interested in the connections that I made with the members in our local association and the connections that I was making with our state veterinary medical association. So following my, my work in Jefferson County, I decided that I would like to be an officer in the Alabama Veterinary Medical Association. So I worked with several of the committees. I worked on the membership committee and the finance committee, public relations committee, awards committee. And the committee work, I think, is, is very important because it, it allows you to understand how each of those pieces fit together to make the organization successful. And after several years with, with the Alabama VMA in, in my committee work, I decided that I would, would really like to work on becoming an officer and, and working through the officer rotation in Alabama. And I was first elected junior board member and then proceeded to be senior board member and then vice president and president-elect. And then in 2010, I was elected president of the Alabama VMA. And I had an incredible year. I was very proud to be able to serve the veterinarians and the citizens of the state of Alabama. And I think that the experiences that I had there and the leadership skills, they helped me to look at, at possible involvement with the AVMA. And during my presidential year, I became involved with the Future Leaders Program that the AVMA started. 
and that involvement has allowed me to learn new skills. It has helped me to develop, I think, skills that will, will take me into leadership in veterinary medicine far into the future. Organized veterinary medicine has changed my life in so many positive ways. I have made more personal and professional connections than I can possibly name. I have worked with some of the most honorable and distinguished members of our profession. I have distinguished myself as a leader and I continue to learn new skills that make me a better leader. I have learned that every veterinarian can become involved with organized veterinary medicine. The possibilities are endless and no two of us will walk the same path. I look forward to where my next steps will lead.